It started out like any other trip. I mean, you get to the airport like two hours early. And you, you wait around and uh, you sit at the end of the runway for an hour. And, and they tell you that you're not going to be able to fly yet because it's it's raining over the place you're supposed to land. So then it starts raining where you are and so you sit on the runway for a while. The actual air trip only took about a half hour to get all the way to Atlanta. But I got to the airport at 2 o'clock and I didn't fly until like 9 o'clock. That's why most of my pictures are of clouds. Because this is all on the trip to uh, Louisiana. Pretty clouds though. Turned out kind of actually to be a fun trip. There's another picture of the wing. There's, just, there's signs on the wing that say do not stand. If the wing isn't strong enough to stand on, that kind of scares me a little bit that, you know, it's flying you through the air. But I get to New Orleans and this guy says he's going to take me over to where Mandy lives. He's going to show me around first. So I'm like, alright, you seem trustworthy. Check it out. It's pretty neat. It's like some cathedral or something. starting to get dark out. I had to actually break into this place to take this picture. That's kind of funny. But then the places started to get kind of seedy. Like seedier and seedier actually. Well not that place. I mean I guess it depends on your uh, perspective. But I mean look. It's kind of scary a little bit. <laughs> Boobies. But anyway took me inside the place and he gave me a muffin and that's when things got really really weird like I started to feel kind of funny I was like it's a drawing of a plate but it's a real muffin and he kept calling it a bruffin because he said it was like a brownie but a muffin but it made me feel funny funny in a good way so he showed me where I was going to be sleeping until Mandy came to pick me up so I was like well might as well enjoy it. There was plenty of fruit to eat, so that was good. It started to get kind of weird, though. I started to have all these weird hallucinations. And, and it was basically when he told me to put the lotion on my skin that I got, like, I went into my own little dream world where there was this, like, cat. And she was like, I'm sorry, plastic crawfish. I could no longer see you. And he's like, Why? I, oh, I love you so much. And she goes, it's very simple. I, I I, am a potted plant that looks like a cat, and you are a crawfish. So he went off on his way, and he discovered one side of a box, and then the other side of a box. His life wasn't very fulfilling. And then he's like, bitch, you lied! But then I realized I had my cell phone, and it was pretty easy. All I had to do was just get out of the cage, and I called Mandy, and we went and hung out in some places in New Orleans, and pretty much it's been kind of awesome since then. She's bossy, but she has a cat, and it's awesome. Bye.